video and I didn't hit record. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. Starting from the top. Hello, beautiful people. We are the Money Honeys, and we're here to tell you how we got into storage units, a uh, few little things that we've learned along the way to maybe help you out if you were interested in it. Uh, first things first, we got into it by watching Jeebus. So if you're into storage units and everything, you've probably seen his videos. Uh, yeah, so I was watching his videos and I was kind of inspired and we needed a new couch. So I was like, you know what, let's give it a try. I went on to storagetreasures.com. That's the website that we use. They also have some uh, self-storage auctions, Locker Fox, uh, public storage does live auctions. I mean, you really got to research. There are some programs that you can pay. Like, I think I'm paying like $8 a month and it gives me a whole list of you know what's going on caravan auctions which are auctions that you start at one location and you go to a couple different locations throughout the day and then it shows how many units are up for auction at each location what time it starts we haven't done that yet but um, we definitely want to try a live auction next because it just seems more exciting so yeah sorry we need a couch and uh, I found one online and uh, it was a unit that nobody was bidding on. So the minimum bid was $10. I put it in and we won. That's actually the couch that we're sitting on right now. We get to the storage unit. I had told her about it. She was not very excited at all. Yeah, I was. Oh yeah? Yeah. No, she was We get it to the unit and everything was brand new. We, we redid our whole room with all the furniture, redid our living room, and we still made like a hundred bucks on the unit. I mean, we gave away the entertainment center, and I mean, yeah, we still, we still made money. And after that, we were kind of like, you know what, this is kind of cool. Uh, let's, let's do another one and see what happens. And the second one we did was that tool unit, our first video that we uploaded. And since then, we've done maybe about four, three or four other units. Yeah, um, we have found all of them. No. But uh, yeah, that was our bad, I'm sorry. That <laughs> was your bad. Yeah. Yeah. So we've just used the website, we use um, Storage Treasures. So basically you just go on and they have all the different units that are going up, they have them all listed there. And there's a surprising amount actually. People really lose units all the time. Um, we never are running out of things to look at. So, you just go and the bids are in increments of $10. So you can't do less than $10. You just put your bid down and it goes up 10 every time that somebody does that. So you might think that a unit's only going to go for like 20 or 30 bucks, but then at the very end of the auction when it's about to expire, everybody goes in, everyone has been watching it, and it can go way higher than you thought it was going to like it can go we've seen them go up to a thousand dollars just in a matter of like an hour um that's because also whenever there's three minutes left on the auction mm -hmm. and somebody bids it automatically adds another three minutes to the auction so i mean if it, you go on all day yeah so it, it could go up you might think like oh no one wants it they do they're watching it um so it might be a better idea to just wait and bid at the end with everybody else that way. I don't know, maybe that makes it a little cheaper. It's hard to say. Yeah. Oh, and the website, they charge you for every time that you get a unit, they charge a fee and it's based on how much you pay for the unit. So the most we've paid for one was like, they charge like a $100 fee. It, but it was for a $300 unit. Yeah, but then we ended up, it was a whole thing, but we didn't get that unit. Um, but we didn't get that hundred dollars refunded they wouldn't refund it so like that sucked but sometimes if it's a really cheap unit it's only a couple dollars or you know 20 bucks or something like that so it's usually not bad but if you get a really expensive unit like a 300 dollars unit they charge you a lot and you can get like a premium membership which lowers those rates we haven't yet because 
you know, we have, we're still trying different sites and we still want to do the live auctions. So, and also we don't have a van. So once we get the van, that way we can get units with furniture because that's where we make a lot of our money. Then we'll invest a little more onto the site. But right now paying, you know, 20 bucks, 100 bucks here and there. It's, it, you don't really save enough to pay, in my opinion. But I mean, how much is the membership? Yeah, I just don't want to pay a monthly fee for something yeah, no. because we haven't been doing it consistently enough, I feel. Yeah. Yeah, so once you've won the actual unit, um, there's different types of units you could win. One of them are, is the, uh, you know, the regular storage unit facilities unit that they auctioned because the person didn't pay. It's called a lean unit. And uh, those are easiest starting off because all you have to do is go to the facility you have to put down a hundred dollar deposit or whatever amount of deposit they want usually it's a hundred you fill out some paperwork uh, you pay taxes and fees and blah 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 and then they take you out to the unit and they let you know whether or not you can use the dumpster most of the times you can't so just whenever you bid on one just assume that you can't use the dumpster there because I think we've been able to maybe once or twice yeah. Yeah, so just don't, if it looks like too much stuff and a lot of it looks like trash and you're not ready for that, then don't do it. Definitely don't do it. If it looks like there's a little bit of trash, there's probably a ton of trash. Yeah, exactly. Because who's going to put, if somebody's going to put a little bit of trash in the unit, there's probably going to be a lot more trash because who's going to store trash? People put such weird things. They really do. Um, but yeah, so once you get there, you get to the unit. You gotta clean it all out. You, uh, it says on, under the auction that you won, or if you go to a live auction, it'll let you know how long you have to clean it out. Usually, it's 48 hours seems to be our norm, but you know I see some as low as 24 and others as high as 72. Um, so yeah, once you get that, they want you to sweep it, do all that. You know, you get the unit cleaned out, they give you the hundred back. Another type of auction that they have are the manager specials, which could be, it could still be the storage facility. I've seen some of them with the storage facility, but I don't under, I don't know exactly what those are. Or there's some manager specials or non lean units of people that just want to auction out their own unit. They don't want to move it. They don't want to deal with it. Now with those, we won one of those and it was my mistake. I didn't read the email that they sent me, you know, so do read everything. I'm one of those that I just agree to shit and click continue. Uh, don't do that with this because we paid. We had to, we rented a U-Haul and I lost a hundred bucks. So we lost almost $200 because of my mistake. Uh, but yeah, the unit was a manager special. And some of those, the actual facility doesn't even know if somebody's auctioning off their thing. It's just a regular person going through the website auctioning the contents and it was a good unit it was a lot of stuff jewelry and like electronics and stuff yeah it was cool um i i had stopped the guy because whenever i was trying to call him he wasn't answering my phone <laughs> calls so i ended up like facebook stalking him i messaged his wife like i found him <laughs> and uh yeah apparently he owned a thrift shop so it, I, it was everything his thrift shop closed down and it was just everything that was left over from the shop, I think. Um, but yeah, with the manager special, you have to actually contact the seller. So, and so that way you guys can arrange a pickup time. And you still have the 24 to 72 hour limit that the other units have. So it's, it gets a little complicated. The, I've noticed the manager special units usually don't go as high. And I think that's why, because it's more of a headache to get. So yeah, pay attention whenever you win. Don't assume they're all the same, because they're not. Yeah, whenever you get a unit and then you have a lot of stuff, hopefully you have, like you own a truck or something that you can put what? What? everything in, that you can put everything in. Um, but if you don't, then you might need to get a U-Haul or I know with Home Depot, you can get from them. Delia. 
Uh, we haven't used one of those. I don't even know how much they are, but they're probably expensive. You can also use Turo. What? I was gonna say Home Depot charges. They don't. I don't think they charge mileage. You yeah. pay like no. You pay like twenty something dollars or seventy dollars for the day, and but you only have like. I think you pay like twenty something dollars, and you have like an hour and a half to do whatever you got to do. Oh. And then the day you charge more. Yeah. So. I don't know. We haven't bothered with that yet. Yeah. Um, Turo. Yeah, the other thing you can use is Turo. It's an app. It's pretty cool. We've used it a few times actually. Not for moving, but for when we go on vacations to have a rental car because it's a lot cheaper. Falling on the budget. Yeah, you just rent it from somebody. You can get a car for like 20 bucks a day. And it's a nice car. Yeah, it's nice. Um, but they do have trucks on there for usually like 30 to $50. And generally it comes with like 100 or 200 miles on it so you have a lot of miles you can drive before you start to get charged for it which is nice because that's what really adds up with the u-hauls so if it's something that looks like it will fit in a pickup truck you might want to try that if you don't have a truck or even if you need a second truck if you're like you know what i have a truck but let's get a second truck and we can probably squeeze it all in there that'll probably be cheaper or if you have a bougie truck and you're one of those people who doesn't like to use it for things then just use the Turo truck and keep your truck bougie. Oh, I'm so <laughs> Yeah, and once you get everything out of the unit, you leave the unit swept up, beautiful, you go to the office, get your money, now you go home and you've just got boxes and boxes of stuff. And I mean... It's like moving. Yeah, yeah, th that's what this is. You're literally moving just all the time. Mm -hmm. And... Your house is a mess mm -hmm. uh, because you you have to go through every little thing. I mean, she's found five dollars. Where'd you find that five? Wrapped up in a paper towel and plastic wrap, and it was put in a bag of literal trash. It just someone had sharpened on it. They sharpened look on it, so I was like, ooh, okay, and <laughs> there was five dollars in there. <laughs> so. Yeah, once you get it all home and you've separated it and you've got your piles of trash and, you know, like we had mentioned before in one of our, or no, in one of our videos that we did the big unit, uh, we had actually called Salvation Army to come because, I mean, that unit was, we were in way over our heads. Yeah. Um, and we actually rented a 10-foot box truck and even after donating a lot of the unit, we still had that truck full like that was we barely shut the door on it yeah it was insane um but yeah you can call salvation army and it to get a pickup scheduled at the unit will be very difficult but you can you know have them come pick it up at your house and that's good because it'll give you time to go through everything mm -hmm. and uh yeah now you have to go through everything all the pockets this lady she had 52 pairs of jeans and most of them were new, but we still went through every pocket, like, to make sure. And if you don't feel like dealing with Poshmark or if the clothes aren't really name brand, uh, you can post clothes for sale on Facebook, and we have people interested. We sold all those jeans and everything for what, like 20 bucks? No, jeans we sold for 50. Oh, for 50 bucks? Mm hmm. Yeah, and people are looking at us like we're crazy, like, really? That's it? So, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, Especially if you don't want to deal with the garage sale and everything, that that's an easy way to do it, you know, yeah. because you will have a lot of stuff to sell. And Facebook Marketplace works the best. That was the best so far, really. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we've done eBay. eBay's been okay. It's it's slower money on eBay, but you get more. So if you are fine just chilling and letting it sell, like you know, just sit until it sells go eBay, 100%. But if you want to just flip it and keep going, Facebook Marketplace, and also we've done a garage sale, we're gonna do another one, the weather hasn't really been on our side with that. Um, but with our garage sale, we made almost 400. And mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, we got robbed. Uh, yeah, this old man came and he just, he got me, I got hustled. <laughs> he, he won, good, good job, old man. <laughs> He got my ass. He did. Yeah, he did. yeah she had left. I was, was getting alone. his donuts. <laughs> I was all back. Alone. Everything's gone. 
Yeah, it was only like 40 bucks, and it, it was easily like $100 worth of stuff. But uh, to be fair, it was him and his wife, and they were like running around, and she was grabbing stuff and throwing it in a pile. And he's like, oh, but I don't, this is all just cords, and this is all just that. And I guess like in the process, what really hurt is we had some power tools. And I think she just like kind of threw some power tools in a box and I didn't realize. I didn't really check through the boxes. So again, my mistake. And uh, yeah, they, they got a bunch of stuff for like 40 bucks. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that garage sale, it was all profit anyways. So we didn't really lose, but we could have made more. So it was one of those. It was fine. Yeah. Uh, you know, just charge it to the game, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> like, we'll do another one. And we're thinking about making the garage sale like a five below or everything's a dollar or something like that. Just, just get see. rid of it. Get rid of it and see how much we make. You might make more, you yeah. know, because if you get a unit with 200 different things in it and you paid $50 for the unit, it might be better just to bite the bullet if you want to keep going. And Yeah, we'll do another one and... You're not going to give me this time, old man. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> we'll have security. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm going to know him. I can't wait. I'm going to start taking stuff out of the boxes. <laughs> I didn't realize. Just charge him anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to charge him for parking on my lawn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, eBay, slow money, Facebook, good. Uh, Honestly, with Facebook and let go and things like that, furniture would be the thing to post. And even furniture, people don't want to pay money. They really are so cheap. Yeah. And, you know, just sell it, make some money, and invest it again. That's kind of, that's our whole approach that we're taking with this. We're not... We've been doing things pretty cheap, like selling everything pretty cheap so far. And it's cool, too, because it's a win-win. Like, you know, especially with the furniture. Like, I know the mom, right? There was a mom that contacted you or something. Yeah, she like just had a move or divorce or something. I don't know. She was broke. Yeah, and I mean we're selling nice furniture cheap, and she's like, wow. She's like, oh my god, thank you. And she's yeah. like, if you get anything else, let me know. And that's a good thing. That's where a lot of these people online and stuff like that don't realize. Like we want to keep our prices cheap because now whenever we post on Facebook or we post on eBay or we post wherever we post, people will know us and they'll be like, oh, they have nice stuff cheap will be their first choice. And that alone brings, that, that alone will generate more income because we're not waiting as long for the money either now. So we're trying to, we're trying to take a different tactic than other people like, you know, I know that that bed is worth probably, you know, 800, but we sold it for 160, you know, and they were happy, we were happy, and we paid $10 for it. Like don't, I'm not gonna say don't be greedy because if you wanna make your money, by all means make your money, but, it's nice to do nice things too, you know, and that way people that got it, like, you don't know what kind of position they're in, you know, they're buying a bed off let go. So I've been there, we've all been there. Uh, help them out. It's nice to help each other out, definitely. Yeah. Everything that we did earn from the couple, first couple units, we were able to take that money and we bought tickets to Belize. Belize. Yeah, we went to Belize. It's really, really fun. It was a lot of fun. It was so awesome. And uh, it was cool because, you know, it's like our hard work kind of paid off and we got worth something. It. Yeah, yeah, it totally was worth yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. And honestly, that whole trip costed us 800 Costed? Cost. <laughs> what? Costed. <laughs> that whole trip had cost us only 800 <laughs> That whole trip cost 800 <laughs> Yeah. Not including the food and all that. With food and everything and excursions, how much was it? Probably another 800 <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So it was about 1600 altogether. But, but half of it was paid for with the units. A little less than half, but yeah. I mean, our tickets and like our room maybe. Yeah, we have a breakdown of all that. Yeah. That we'll put in another video. Oh yeah, if you end up, if you go through a unit, if you get one and you find like a bunch of pictures or um, like ashes, like human remains, which happens sometimes apparently, if you find um, like flags that are folded in the triangle, anything that looks really personal that you're obviously not going to get anything from, you can give it back to the storage unit and they will track down the owners and try and give this stuff back to them. So that way you don't have to feel bad like throwing away boxes and boxes of pictures and things like that. Because um, they'll get all that back. Which so, is nice. 
Yeah. Because I lost a storage unit. Now, since I've been doing this, I've always wondered how much my unit went for. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Because I had nice stuff. I had a TV. I had a couch. Yeah. I had a whole box filled with like shoes, and they were nice shoes. Probably a couple hundred. Yeah, no, that unit probably went for a lot. And you know what's crazy? If the unit goes more than what's owed, they're supposed to give the rest of the money to the owner of the unit. You didn't know that. I didn't know that. I could have had a couple, I could have lost the unit but made a couple hundred. I'd be like, oh, I would have done that myself. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. So if you lose a storage unit, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess they don't have to tell you that? No, obviously not. They didn't call me. So if you're in the process of losing a unit, um, check with the storage place after yeah, one of the options. went for it. Yeah, you might, you might have made some money. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, we see them go for a lot. Yeah, so. <laughs> thousands. Like, yeah. I mean, it's crazy. So definitely. We might go into the business of just letting storage units go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, if you're thinking about getting into it, just know it's a lot of work because like we said, it's moving. So if you hate moving and you hate like haggling and talking to people because people are really stupid whenever you're selling them stuff. They are, they're annoying. They are. And then like you'll get like 20 is it available mm -hmm. and then out of those 20, five want to pay like a quarter what you're asking mm -hmm. and then three want to go and come check it out they're like oh no i thought it was bigger oh no oh, that doesn't look mouth. like that oh i can't show up i have to go to work yeah people suck they're inconsiderate yeah so if you're buying stuff online be more considerate of people's time please yeah be nice to them yeah and if you don't have anything nice to say don't say anything at all yeah so funny thing you guys we thought that we didn't film that entire first video and we did. So now we have two videos, both over 20 minutes long, saying the exact same shit. So, at least my babe got her soup. That's some bullshit. That is some bullshit, babe. But you look so good while you eat soup. Oh girl, eat that soup. Yeah, eat that soup. Oh girl, girl. That high top that she's sitting at, we actually got in a storage unit. I wanted to sell it. I wanted to keep it. So we kept it. Look, I'm using it. But boom, that right there. Let me zoom out. There we go. That right there is the blue couch that we got in our very first unit. Hey. Hey. Don't show them that. I love you. Uh -huh. All right. Bye.